And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. All right, after 9 or 10, snow comes in, overspreads the area from the west. It becomes steady, comes down at a good clip tonight, and then it starts to blow around after like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, especially around 7 or 8. That's when the, we'll start getting winds gusting 30 to 35 with sustained winds near 20, and the temperature will drop. We're down to 12 by 7 in the morning. Wind chills between 12 below zero and 4 below zero because lows will vary from 8 in the northwest to 14 in our far eastern counties and tomorrow's just a, another really cold day. Now it's not single digits, but it's darn close. We'll be kind of uh, kind of hovering around 12 degrees in Greater Lafayette. The snow tapers in the morning, but some flurries and some scattered lake effect snow showers around, especially in our northeast counties, and the sun will poke through a little bit. Now the winds will still gust 30 to 40 through noon. And then they'll slowly decrease more like gusts 20 to 30 later on in the day. But you know, highs near 10 to as high as about 16. And there you see the rough wind chills and rough wind chills on Saturday morning because you're going to have a northwest wind at 12, but it's too above. The high is 15, though, mostly sunny skies, still pretty breezy, though, some minor blowing and drifting. No snow will be falling, but the snow that we have will blow around a little bit with the sunshine around. Look at those wind chills in the morning. That's why we've got the wind chill advisory up for Friday night and Saturday morning. And then by afternoon, they're closer to about zero. There is future cast again. We're OK at 730 and 8, but here we get into 9 and the snow races in 1030, 11 midnight. Widespread snow develops. Uh, one, two, three in the morning. It's still widespread snow viewing area wide. The back edge of the steady snow crosses the state line at five, though. And by seven in the morning, yes, there will still be some scattered snow showers in the area, but the steady heavier snow will already be approaching uh, US 31 here in our eastern counties. Then finally by eight, nine, or right through the afternoon, again, a few flurries, a few lake effect snow showers, the greatest concentration up here in our northeast counties, and this may bring a dusting uh, or additional coating, especially up here to our northeast. And then we get that mostly sunny sky come Saturday. So, uh, you know, last night we had one to three inches of snow. Now it's like one to four. And since we're closer to the event, we're able to uh, better detail that one to four. So we've got a one to two Kingman, Ladoga, uh, down towards Newmarket, and also Covington. Now Attica, Romney, Frankfurt, all the way northward, and this goes all the way to Kiwana and Madaryville and, and uh, Kentland. We're talking two to four inches of snow expected. Then beyond that, again, the weekend's tranquil. Sunday, we start to warm up. A period of some freezing rain cannot be ruled out for Monday night, but then it's just plain old rain. Multiple rounds of rain, some drizzle and fog next week. This is Thursday and even next weekend's gray with some drizzle and fog around, but it is much warmer. And I think from Monday through Friday of next week, around an inch to as much as two inches of rainfall can be expected. But look at the low. We got to get through this, though. It's a two Saturday morning. It's a four below zero on Sunday morning, but it's 25 in the afternoon. The wind picks up. Freezing rain Monday night, then to rain, and then warming up. We're in the 40s, even around 50 degrees in the area. And that continues right into next weekend.